Assalamu alaikum. Greetings from Talent Upskill Class 6 English version math exercise 2.1. Question number 5. Identify the equivalent ratios of the following 12 is to 18, 6 is to 18, and there are many. What we have to do is we have to identify the equivalent ratios. We know equivalent ratios. If we valent ratios have different quantities, but have same or equal value. So we have to identify which of the ratios have equal value. So let us start. 12 is to 18. 12 is to 18. Then 6 is to 18. 15 is to 10. 3 is to 2. 6 is to 9. 2 is to 3, 2 is to 3 and then 1 is to 3, 1 is to 3, then 2 is to 6, and the last one, 12 is to 8, okay, 12 is to 18 equals to 12 by 18 equals to if we simplify and divide both by the largest number that is 6 so it will be 2 and it will be 3 so 2 by 3 equals to 2 is to 3 6 is to 18 equals to 6 by 18 equals to if we divide both by 6 this becomes 1 and this becomes 3. So 1 by 3 equals to 1 is to 3. 15 is to 10 equals to 15 by 10 equals to. If we divide both by 5, this becomes 3 and this becomes 2 equals to 3 by 2 equals to 3 is to 2. Now 3 is to 2, we don't need to do any simplification. 6 is to 9 equals to 6 by 9 equals to, if we divide both by 3, this becomes 2, this becomes 3. So 2 by 3 equals to 2 is to 3. This is 2 is to 3, no need to simplify. 1 is to 3, no need to simplify. 2 is to 6, still we can simplify. So 2 by 6 equals 2. Divide both by 2. This will become 1, this will become 3. 3 into 2 is 6. So 1 by 3 equals to 1 is to 3. That is the list form. Now 12 is to 8 equals to 12 by 8 equals to we divide both by 4, this becomes 3 and this becomes 2. So 3 by 2 equals to 3 is to 2. Now let us identify which have same values, 2 is to 3. So which other have two value 2 is to 3? Let us put a mark here, hash. This one has 2 is to 3 value. This one is already 2 is to 3. These three values are equal, so we can call these three equivalent ratios. Let's put these three together. 12 is to 18, the first one. The second one, 6 is to 9. And the third one, 2 is to 3. So we can say these three are equivalent, are equivalent.
and then let's find which one has value 1 is to 3 and let's put a mark tick where is 1 is to 3 1 is to 3 it has 1 is to 3 value it has 1 is to 3 value so these three are equivalent ratios let us put this three together this is 6 is to 18 6 is to 18 the next tick 1 is to 3 the next tick 2 is to 6 so these three are equivalent with value 3 is to 2 here is one let's put a circle mark here is another 3 is to 2 and here is another 3 is to 2 so these three are equivalent because they have same value so the last group with value 3 is to 2 there are three ratios the one is 15 is to 10 15 is to 10 the next one 3 is to 2 and the last one 12 is to 8 these three are equivalent and that is the answer question number six express the following simple ratios into the mixed ratio let us start with a 3 is to 5, 5 is to 7, 3 is to 5, 5 is to 7, and 7 is to 9. These three ratios we can write in fraction form. This is 3 by 5, this is 5 by 7, and this is 7 by 9. We know mixed ratio equals to product of all numerators. Divided by product of all denominators equals to so if we multiply the numerators 3 into 5 into 7 3 into 5 into 7 multiply the denominators 5 7 and 9 5 multiply 7 multiply 9 equals to 3 into 5 15 into 7 105 divided by 5 into 7 35 into 9 3 15 equals to if we simplify and divide both by 105 this is 1 and this becomes 3 so 1 by 3 equals to 1 is to 3. That is the mixed ratio and that is the answer. Now B. 5 is to 3. 7 is to 5. And 9 is to 7. Equals to 5 by 3 equals to 7 by 5 equals to 9 by 7 we know mixed ratio equals to product of the numerators 5 into 7 into 9 divided by product of denominators so 3 5 and 7 equals to 
5 into 7, 35, and multiply by 9, this is 315. 3 into 5, 15, multiply 7, is 105, equals to. If we divide both by 105, this becomes 3, this becomes 1. So equals to 3 by 1, equals to 3 is to 1, and that is the mixed ratio or that is the answer. Question number 7. Express the ratio 9 is to 16 as inverse ratio. 9 is to 16. We should know the first quantity is always known as antecedent. Antecedent or first quantity. And the second quantity is known as subsequent or you can call it second quantity. When we have to find out the inverse ratio of a ratio, this is so easy. We just have to interchange the antecedent and subsequent bring first quantity to second place and take second quantity to first place. That is it. So how we get inverse ratio? Inverse ratio of 9 is to 16 equals to 16 is to 9. We just interchanged the numbers. That is the answer. Question number 8. Which one of the following ratios are unit ratios? Unit ratios. Unit ratios are those ratios which have same or equal quantities. and value value of the ratio is 1 is to 1 always now let us do a 16 is to 13 16 is to 13 the quantity it has to be same quantity here quantities are not same. One is 16, the other one is 13. So this is not a unit ratio. B, 13 is to 17. 13 is to 17. The quantities are not same. One is 13, the other one is 17. So not a unit ratio. Next, T. 21 is to 21. The quantities are same. Value of the ratio. Let's find the value of the ratio. Equals to 21 by 21. Equals to 1 by 1. Equals to 1 is to 1. So, the equal quantities 21 and 21, the value is 1 is to 1. So this is a unit ratio, a unit ratio. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.